The concept for the action behind Ninja Gaiden 3 is a concept we're calling Steel on Bone. Uh, we want to give the feeling of actually cutting something, cutting through someone with a sword. Ninja Gaiden 3 では、リュウハイブセ is sort of a Japanese dark hero.、Uh, so he's not just a killing machine. He is now able to do all kinds of different kinds of moves. For example, the action you're seeing now is called the Kunai Climb. It's a new action for Ninja Gaiden 3 that allows him to climb up walls and attack enemies that are up there. We we're looking to sort of increase player immersion uh, by matching sort of controller inputs with what would feel natural for the action that they're doing. So you see the alternating buttons as you climb up the wall to mimic the arms as he climbs up. Watch it. The boat's another jack o ripper. Shut up. Give us another ten. No sign of target yet. Ninja Gaiden 3 also features these sort of assassination sequences as well. So the action you just saw is an ultimate technique. It's been in past Ninja Gaiden as well, but the way you trigger it has changed for Ninja Gaiden 3. You can see that Ryu's right arm starts to glow as you're playing through the game. So this glowing arm is also connected very strongly to the story of Ninja Gaiden 3. Uh, and I hope we can tell you more about that uh, in the future. As you can see here, save points have changed from being as just a statue on the stage to a falcon that comes to you. Uh, this is also sort of to increase immersion in the world of Ninja Gaiden 3.